Hey, what's up? Schnell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have a collection update from Dutch Pierce and also Shoot You in the Head on YouTube. I don't know if he wanted me to use his real name, but he wrote a real nice letter and really, really hooked up the channel. And I'm beyond grateful. Legit, thank you for the um, uh, the little extra. Really, really appreciate it. Every dollar legitimately helps. And yeah, that got some groceries and stuff. So heavy, heavy hails. But here's the note. Your channel fucking rules. With the horns. Really dig it. Hope you like the shit I sent. I don't have a record or cassette player, by the way. Have dinner on me. I didn't know what that meant until there was a little hint here. Hey, bro, that embalmer tape is hard to find. And skull and crossbones. X marks the spot. Well hidden cash was hidden inside the J card. Great hiding spot. Hey bro, that embalmer tape is hard to find, by the way. My name on YouTube is Shoot You in the Head. Many hails. Thank you, VP. I'm just going to call you VP. I don't know. Like I said, I, I should have asked if you wanted your first and last name. But VP, a.k.a. Shoot You in the Head. Heavy Hails. And Dutch Pierce. One of my favorite musicians and writers in Pennsylvania. We'll start with what Dutch sent. Um, now, the Charnel Oblet CD is in the car at the moment, but here's my cassette dub of it, which has been getting a lot of plays, honestly, lately. But yesterday, holy shit, like when the mail came, this took a little break. But, Dutch also sent over Ungodly Chariot. Um, I think it's this demo. I always forget this Roman numeral. I think it's nine. I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong. Or, I, I honestly forget. But, Ungodly Chariot demo from Outer Space. On Moon Worshipper Records. This is some weird shit. And I really like it. Like it's, it's seriously some weird, weird black metal. I guess it, it's, it's so different and just interesting. I fucking love it. Like, it's something that's 100% worth checking out. Like... Especially if you're a fan of experimental music. This is probably some of the gnarliest shit out when it comes to just, like, absolutely devastating, you know, gnarly tunes. But, uh, Ungodly Chariot, I mean, Ungodly Chariot is Parsian. I think I probably butchered that, but no synthesizers. There's E.T. chilling. Although there's parts where it sounds like there's synthesizers and stuff, but... Wow. That's all I could say is wow. Like, hell yeah. It's... Links will be in the video description. The cover art, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's fantastic. So good. Artwork by Wampus Cat. Layout by NB, mastered by TN, and mixed by Kurthon. Kurthon, like, legit, I tip my hat to you. I have no idea how someone masters and mixes something like this. It's just, it's mind-boggling how hard it must be. But really good stuff. 
DIY or die. And then this is a total banger on our uh, ancient future. I fell in love with this instantly. Victitious Blade, self-titled, five tracks of just murderous, awesome metal. Like, it just rules. Trust me. And by the way, we're listening to Swan's Cop. Because why not? But, uh, like, Banshee's Blade, Claustrophobia, Abomination, Mortification of Flesh, and Burning Visions make up this slab of just killer fucking tunes here. And more Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania goodness. Layout by Kevin, mastered by Dan Randall. Because this sounds, like, this sounded really massive, like, on cassette. And it's just... Really, really good. Victitious Blade. And we have Kevin Parent, Carissa Baldini, Eric Wynn, Jeff Ellsworth, and Dan Ford. Sick, sick individuals. And I really like the cosmetics with, like, the skull and stuff. It's badass. And the Charnel Oblet CD and stuff, uh, Carving Stone for the Dead. But now on to what uh, Victor or VP sent over to the channel. Where to start? All right, we'll just start with the stuff that's not in a case. Jungle Rot, Skin the Living. 1995. Holy shit. Original, skinless, swollen heaps demo. Has their address and everything at the bottom and stuff. Super ridiculous. 1995 on Stinky Dung Records. Like, that's gnarly. It doesn't have the cover art and stuff, but I have the demo compilation, so it's all good. And here we have Disfear Soul Scars, which I do have on cassette, along with um, Bomb Raid, the first Dis Sober LP, Os Rotten, both 45s. Nice mixtape. And then we have uh, Blackmore's Rainbow with Rainbow Rising, 1976. And he sent over a couple CDs, including AC, Morbid Florist, Relapse, Underground Series version, with the AC address on it. Gotta love this type of stuff, though. And this is, you know, I love the Not For Trendy Ears old relapse slogan on the underground series i would like to bring that back honestly but um i don't know i'm sure some other labels done it but ron from blasphemous uh, when i posted this yesterday he was like dude the most well the least offensive ac record and yeah He's right, but it's also extremely good. And the title is an inside joke about a certain member of Mortician that might have worked in a flower shop. The Morbid Florist. I, I don't know. It's a kind of funny inside joke if you know who it is, especially. But definitely the least offensive anal cunt release. 14 tracks. You know what this is. And here, Mutilation Rights. And I'm guessing this is their demo. 
I was very surprised when I saw this. I was like, whoa, that's badass. Recorded January 2011. I really wish, you know, they would do more because, like, Chasm was one of my favorite, like, modern death metal albums. But, like, I remember they did start off kind of as, like, a black metal band as the cover kind of shows you. And uh, here's something I like a lot. But uh, I've always been a fan of three-inch CDs. So when I saw a copy of uh, Dispense in the cold night, I was like, whoa, no way. And yeah, only thing is I cannot play this in the car because you can't play three inch CDs in a car stereo. So that's kind of a bummer, but really fast records, 1994. Hell yeah. Really gnarly, you know, insert. I love that promo photo. Like, that photo is just, like, very unsettling. But then there's a CD that didn't come in a case. Um, Riotous Automator with um, Barley Army Split 2018. I, I don't know what this is, but we'll find out eventually. But those are the CDs, and we have a lot of 7 inches. A lot of punk 7 inches, crossover, power violence. We got a lot of good shit here. Disclose, Visions of War. Hell yeah. Raw Punk. Really, really good stuff. And this is not for everybody that watches this channel. I know that for a fact. It looks like I have two covers, though. That's kind of cool. So I'll send one of these out to somebody. But these are all, like, originals. Like, everything he sent is, like, an original. Besides, you know, some of the dub tape. But I, I love this, uh, you know. But, uh, of course you get a Discharge cover. I mean, come on. It's called Visions of War. And the band's called Disclose. Like, you know what you're getting here. Bleeze and Lice up the punks in the American Dream is a Nightmare. Really crusty, punky stuff. They always have killer artwork. There's the fleas on lice side. Oh, up the punks, negative, the American dream. And then, uh, ass rash with traditional enslavement. Jesus was a drunk. And then that's on this. So, oh, it's a, my bad. I didn't realize it was like that. Sorry. My mistake. That makes a lot more sense. Because I, I haven't listened to, you know, all the seven inches yet. Yeah, you got some Minneapolis Chaos Punk.
definitely interested in checking this out. But, like, you can tell it's an old 7-inch when, you know, you get one of those, like, you could tell it used to be white, but it starts getting, like, brown. And this next one blew me away. As soon as I saw it, I was like, dude, I need to get, like, a copy of Disrupt Unrest. And then a copy of The Rest, because finally... I have some disrupt material back in my life. Split 7 inch with War Collapse. Drunk Collapse destroyed. But again, I could just look at this all day and have a fucking smile on my face. Just seeing that disrupt logo. And I, lo I just, I love 7 inch artwork. Like, especially from, like, Crust Punk and, like, you know, like, to me, Disrupt is heavier than most metal bands. But very, very sick on Crust Records out of Rhode Island. I really, really miss Disrupt. I wish they just never broke up. And Disrupt were Pete. And Jay on vocals, Terry on, on guitar, Jeff on guitar, Randy on drums, and Bob on bass. Two tracks. But, like, these songs appear on the rest compilation. So you don't have to, you know, buy all this gnarly 7-inch material and stuff. Because they have a lot. I think it's like a double LP or... I. I think it was a double CD when I had it. I don't really remember. It was a long time ago. But then I ended up getting an original, like, copy. And some motherfucker stole it. I really... I have no idea who it was. If I ever was to find out, I would legit, like, find where they live now and go and get my shit back. Because, yeah... That's not an easy one to find whatsoever. And this is not an easy 7-inch to put away. It's very delicate. I'm trying not to bend or ding it up at all. And one of my favorite bands, Despise You, on a split with Suppression. Sorry, I have to do a little censorship. But, oh, I can't wait to dive into this one. This is going to be a treat. Slap a Ham Records. I will never have the whole Slap a Ham discography, but I have a good amount. But this looks like it's never been played. Legit, it, this has never been played. There's no needle marks at all. Holy shit. Now, this is not the death metal suppression, by the way. Look at the Kraken. That's so sick. Slap a Ham Records is so gnarly. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, do a little bit of research and you'll find out. I love this. Like, the cover art is like super gnarly, just and punk as fuck. That reminds me, you know, like if you're a fan of I Hate God, you know very I hate God art esque and that despise you photo again fan fucking tastic it's so good I love despise you broke veins show polluted lines shit love lost you never knew and then we have hiatus way out of doom And one more 7 inch after this. In Grind We Crust. This record is $3 post paid to anywhere in North America. Why pay more? Profane Existence from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hiatus. Way of Doom. Like I said, we got a lot of like punk and crust and stuff. Love it.
very delicate covers. You have to be careful with stuff like this. Like, seriously. Like, I have the Spectral Voice Blood Incantation first press, and it's on, like, paper stock like this, and every time I... Well, I, I don't really listen to it as much as I have the songs on cassette, but, like, I'm very careful with it every time I put it on and stuff, just because I don't want to, you know, mess it up. But it's meant to be listened to. Here we have State of Fear, the final 7-inch. Again, just black and white, sick stuff. And this is on uh, Rhetorate Records from Connecticut. State of Fear is from Minneapolis. Play it loud or don't fucking play it. I tell you folks all the time. Maximum volume yields maximum results. The police state is here, and we're doomed to live in a state of fear. Punk stuff. And time for... Damn, this video is going to be long, because here comes all the real gnarly, gnarly shit. First, we'll go over some patches really fast. Thank you, Dutch, for this seat patch. Thank you, Dutch, for this fictitious blade patch. Oh, shit. That's going on my leather. Hellhammer, Apocalyptic Raids. This is going somewhere, too. Black Sabbath. Mayhem, Wolfpack, and War Collapse. Thank you to Victor for these. And we have another patch too, but we don't support that band. But we do support Terrorizer, World Downfall. And this is... 1989 Earache Records, licensed by Relativity Records, made in the USA. And I just realized this is the same kind of inside as the um, Necropsy Odor uh, J card. I didn't realize that, but I thought that was cool. But I'm extremely happy to have this back in my life. Especially, it sounds great too on tape. Like, so, so sick. But really quickly, I was doing physical therapy this morning. That's why I'm all greasy. But, like, it, yeah, it just reminded me of, like, the necropsy odor uh, J card without the gore. Again, I'm sure that's not intentional, but that's just what it reminded me of. And it just gets more and more gnarly, but uh, here is War Victims, Until Man Exists No More. I've yet to listen to this one. Black Seeds Records. I'm guessing what it is, though. Guessing it's some crusty uh, metal just based on the cover. And this is so gnarly and amazing. Hellhammer Apocalyptic Raids 1991 AD. Noise Records 1990. Yeah. Tracks 1 and 4 taken from Apocalyptic Raids. Tracks 5 and 6 only previously released on death metal sampler never previously released in usa that's the real deal and it sounds amazing awesome letter by tom warrior 
I love the alternative cover also, but wow. Like, I didn't know they were, like, embarrassed of Hellhammer. It's kind of crazy. Like, it, like, you have to read this, and it, it really, it's like, holy shit. You know, like, they just kind of wanted to, like, steer, steer clear from it, and then, like, it just became something completely different. I'm trying to find the one thing, like, because, uh, they kept, like, many voices saw Frost as the same band of just a name change, the lack of musical quality and Hellhammer made it almost impossible for us to get an unbiased reaction for Celtic Frost. To make a long story short, it almost killed all our work and dreams. Like, it's a gnarly little piece of metal history. Rest in power, Martin, er, uh, Martin, Eric, Ian. On base, sick guy. I need to get a copy of Monotheist. Like, that's one of my favorite Celtic Frost records. And... Embalmer rotting away. Yeah. Original. So sick. And we have Roy Stewart's address in Brunswick, Ohio. How cool is that? I was so stoked when I saw this. I was like, oh my god, no way. Because that's an original. And then it gets even better to close things off. And that is Eye Gouger Ass Attack. And you also get Ass Rotor on Head Split Records. Head Split Records number 13. This is classic Head Split Sleazy Metal goodness. If you've never heard Eye Gouger before, get into it. It's overly, you know, misogynistic and gnarly, but it's fun and it's obviously not meant to be taken seriously with tracks like Bouncing from Beds. Oh man, I can't even name, I can't even read half the yeah, you just need to check it out yourself. It's so good. It really is. It's awesome. Eye Gouger is sick. Hails to Head Split Records for always keeping the underground like real and like sick. But that's everything. I didn't know it was going to take this long to go over everything. Gnarly, gnarly stuff. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, that's that's everything, and I'm beyond stoked to dive into all this stuff because it's a lot of music. But I've been, you know, checking out the stuff that I already know is fire. And this is something I never thought I would have a copy of. Period. So hell yeah! Thank you again to shoot you in the head and Dutch Pierce for making this video possible and thank you for sitting through 29 minutes of it we were listening to Swans and as always thanks for watching you fucking rule Hails yeah.